Hey guys, welcome back to my messy workbench, Christmas edition, and it's time for another teardown of the fresh release IKEA Alpstuga, which translates to Alpine Hut. This is the successor to the Windstierka, which then itself is the successor of the Windrichtning. What's so special about this is that it's matter compatible. This means that it's using a unified standard and it should work with different hubs and different devices. For example, uh, this one, if you have a HomePod in, in your home, you don't need an IKEA hub to get all the relevant data out of this sensor. This sensor also, uh, as an upgrade to the Vinstierka, also measures uh, CO2. So, and also, uh, another interesting thing, um, does not come with a USB-C cable, uh, it used to come with one, and it's made in Vietnam, which it's unusual, they, they're usually made in China. They have this new packaging, which I really like, with this uh, yellow cover on the top. We're just going to do a quick unboxing, there is like, read the manual, whatever. Uh, I think this is the QR code for the matter pairing, and this is the device itself, we don't need that. Out. So yes, fortunately, it's also engraved here. We also have some buttons. Uh, I think this also has a clock function. That's why there's this button here as well. And uh, it's a really simple thing. There's just a button on the top, USB-C on the back, an opening probably for the fan. It's going to have a very similar particle counter as the Vinstierka, most likely, air output. Um, we can check really quickly what the power consumption is. So it's using... It's thinking about it. Okay, so now it's starting up. It says CO2 right now. And it's using about half a watt. So um, almost nothing. And I don't know if the fan is already... Yeah, the fan is running now. It's 0 0.7 watt, just a watt. So it's also pretty limited. And if you push this button here, yeah, 87% humidity. That's the time. That's CO2. That's PM, particle counter, and that's the temperature, which is, of course, wrong. There are a little bit more than 12 degrees. Now, it's not using a display. It's using a small LEDs to make this. So we're probably going to see that inside. Okay, so there are some feet underneath here. Do they hide some screws? They do not. Okay, so the point of entry, it's probably going to be the front. This is also cheaper than the Vinstierka, by the way, so... They probably skimped the screws and went straight to clips. And that seems to be the case. Okay. Wow, that's really strong. I have to wonder if they hid some screws somewhere. Um, here they say 5 volt, 1 amp, 5 watts, but we've seen that it's far less than that. Hmm. How does one open this? Oop. Okay, there we go. So it's clipped in rather tight. And mostly at the edges. There we go. Okay, that's pretty nice. So we have everything on a single board up front and the particle counter is on the back and there's a really nice uh, connector with a tab here that if we push on it, it's gonna release it. So very, very simple and no screws basically. And uh, um, probably that also will lower the cost of manufacturing. So this is the main board. We have three screws. We have a funky, uh, second board for the USB-C connector. That's pretty fun. Um, it just has like ground and five volts right here and just three screws that hold everything in. So we might as well remove those. Let's see. So got my screwdriver here. Oh, they're tight. I think we need the bigger screwdriver for this. That's better. Um, so, this is the display, it's made with uh, individual LEDs, which is an interesting way of manufacturing. There is an RGB LED as well, here in the corner, which we saw was uh, red before. And um, so th that's the date code on the PCB, 
right here. And we also have a light sensor as well. This is covered, so this is most likely a uh, light sensor to adjust brightness. It was, it was really dim before, so... Um, let's also find it Why is this. So they also made some cutouts here on the on the PCB. I don't, I don't know if it's for not leaking light into the sensor, but that doesn't make much sense, to be honest. Um, we have two chips here. Oh, let's see if we can zoom in and read what's on it. Um, I actually, I will have to check that in post, but there are just like, there's probably like one microcontroller, you see the antenna that's on the PCB again for simpler manufacturing. So that's what we have here. I'll put the IDs in the description. And they also made this nice guide for if you would focus, nice guide for uh, the individual LEDs that we saw earlier. So that's pretty nice as well. This is probably just, uh, yeah, clipped in. So and you see here the holes. So very simple product. Um, also this one here was, oh, this is the, the front light sensor, I think. There's a little light channel here in the middle that was probably stuck in here. There's also a guard as well. So yeah, that, that probably adjusts brightness. So that's the PCB. Now let's turn our attention to the uh, particle counter. It's clipped in. So if we probably loosen this clip here, it's gonna come out pretty easy. Oh, it's also stuck in. Okay. So there's this double-sided stick tape. There's the, the fan for the, uh, that's actually for the output. The intake is right here. This is probably for CO2 monitoring. And it's in this uh, pretty interesting case. So there is this, uh, oh, it's from Sensirion as well. I think it was the same manufacturer as the Binstirka one as well. Um, that's the part number right there. That's Sen 63 c S I N T, And it comes, I don't know why, in this carrier module right here, uh, which doesn't really make much sense at first because there are already clips here. So that those clips retain the module. And this seems to be an additional carrier because then if I bend this, it's probably gonna come out as well. Well, it seems to be stuck, but um, there's an additional plastic carrier, which cost-wise doesn't really make much sense. But um, I actually want to use this, so I won't go any deeper into the particle counter today. So that was a quick teardown of the IKEA Abstuka and uh, Thank you so much for watching and I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get my hands on the new lineup of uh, matter capable uh, sensors as well and tear down those also. See you later.